So, Miss Corina. Ayun na. Ayun. Miss Corina. Ayun na. Ayun na. Miss Corina. Biglang. Pasan yung ilaw? Biglang. Biglang. Hindi. Maliwanag po. Sa loko lang. Okay. So, kasi pagkakuling namin si Miss Reyna na kwento. Parang kinigilip siya dahil nga tinabi mo sa kanya na king ang tawag mo sa kanya. Parang na-resource mo ba or something? No. I really know that yung ibig sabihin ng king is Ray. And Ray is king. So sabi ko parang maganda itawag sa kanya king because sa totoo lang, sabi nga nila, yung kaya ng lalaki, mas kaya ng babae. So, bakit ba may mga ganong klaseng mga uh, pagkakaiba pa ng distinction of the king from the queen? And when you say queen, it's like there's a king who's more powerful. So, to me, she deserves to be called the king because she's really on top of it all. Siya naman talaga ang gumawa ng lahat at siya ang kumukumpa sa lahat. So, ay sino yun? Yeah, the king. So, tamang-tama, Rita. Yun. Kaya tawag ko sa kanya, Kim. How do you feel? Sobra siyang kinikilig talaga. Nakuha kanya. Kasi talaga ang sinasabi niya na idol ka niya every year. Oh. Dahil di ba ka dati siya nga... Oo, oh, oh, wag lang niya sasabihin na maliit pa lang siya na papanood na niya. <laughs> okay? Bawal. So, uh, yeah, that's why she took up communication arts. And she ended up being a DJ for a while. Oh, a DJ. So, um, but once a marketer, at talagang merong merong kang pagkanegosyante sa sa katawan mo lalabas at lalabas yun eh para nga ko I'm a journalist uh, for the longest time but I also have a business uh, acumen that I took from my own mother so Malit pa lang ako, nagbebenta na ako ng mga drawing ko sa classmate ko. So, when I wanted to go into manufacturing my own products, I just found Ray to be one of the most generous people ever because kahit may sarili siyang brand niya, tinuturuan niya ako. Yeah, no, tinuturuan niya ako, ma'am, ganito ang gagawin ko. She even went to my house the first time I met Ray. She even went to my house sa Cubao. At tinuruan niya ako, ma'am, you start your own line, and this is what you do. Sabi ko, ang galing din naman ang babaeng ito. Hindi, ang laki ng market, sabi niya. At iba-iba naman tayo. So, I have my own small playground business. Hindi tulad, because my main thing really is television and production. I have three shows going on at the same time right now. So, itong mga skin cream, parang laro ko lang yan to give employment to people. Unlike Ray, yun talaga ang kanyang uh, ano, no, forte at yan talaga ang kanyang main. Kaya napalago naman talaga niya ng gusto. And that really teaches me something about passion, about purpose. At when, pag binigay mo talaga lahat ng oras mo dyan, imposibleng hindi mag-succeed. Lalo na kung alam mo kung ano yung ginagawa. Pero ano yung mga pointers na binigay niya sa iyo? Ano yung mga natutuwa? Well, first of all, you have to have an effective product. You have to have an effective product kasi hindi naman pwedeng uh, if it doesn't work, bakit sila bibili ulit, right? So, price point is another one. Important ang price point because sa dami ng competition, you not only have to have a product that works, uh, it has to be competitive. Knowing the buying capacity of your target market. Ang target market ni, ni uh, Ray is a little higher than mine. No? Pero makikita mo rin na very competitive pa rin ang kanyang price point considering the quality of her products and her packaging and everything. And, uh, and another thing is direct selling is much faster than shelf. So direct selling, especially if it gives livelihood to more people, you have less overhead and you have less marketing expense because everybody else down the line markets themselves. So fourth, everything is online now. So it's very important to do and to learn the online marketing strategy. Okay, kay Mamre, kasi sabi ko learn, 
uh, bago pa ng pandemic na nag-keep to online. Pero na talaga sila yung oh, market yung, online. Oo, uh, yung age group ni Ray, pababa, yun, yun ang kinalakihan nila eh. Hindi tulad ng iba sa atin, nagkasama ka na doon. Huwag ka umamin ka. O, oh, Ana Pingol, aminin. Ikaw, kahit hindi ka na ba? Maya, marunong na ako. Uh, one of the last men standing ako, even in my master's course, pagpasok ko nga ng classroom, makala nila ako yung teacher, eh, tumayo lahat. Because I took up my master's late, and everybody else was saying, it's online, it's online. Sabi ko, hindi. Jaryo pa rin yan. Hindi. Ano pa rin yan? Print pa rin yan, di ba? And today, wala, I ha we all have to embrace it because there's no turning back. Marketing and selling is now online. Pero wala so, bang conflict na nag-endorser ka ng ano? Because the, my collaboration with her uh, is not something that I have. It's only hers. And that's Kayla Jen. That's Kayla Jen. Pero nagtutulungan kami eh. Pag pinapadala niya ako ng mga cream niya, pina-unboxing ko yan. Pero may collagen din siya. No, yun yun. That's, ma that's my collaboration with her. Yun. Yun ang partnership natin. Yung yung nasa bago. Yes. Parating na rin yun. Miss Corina, kakagrig ka ba kay Miss Ray? Kasi nung sa mga past interviews namin sa kanya, lagi niyo naman yan siya na ano nga. Diba? Kasi skip to fuck mass communication. And then, yun talaga ang kaarap niya kung naman yung newscaster, kagaya mo. Then si Pound of Sapo, parang wala ka lang ano dito, uh, datu or something, hindi ka, hindi ka yayaman ng oh. tatawag. So, agree ka ba dun sa naging decision niya na, ay, tama pa, or tama ba yung naging decision niya? So, you know, to each his own calling, right? May mga journalists na willing talagang magpakulong. I'm not one of them. <laughs> I'm not one of them. Pero may mga Maria Reza ng mundong ibabaw, right? Okay. Kanya-kanya yun eh. Kanya-kanya yun. Um, uh, meron ding mga negosyante na half journalist, half negosyante. Okay. In my case, I'm not doing hard news right now. So to me, there's no conflict, no? Because I'm not doing hard news. But once you're doing hard news, then there might be a conflict. Um, Huh? Uh, can't, I can't say that I'm like a grad because if it's once it's there, you'll always have an you'll always have an opinion about how other people do their hard news, right? Because you know, man, talaga ang kapanganakan ko ang hard news and journalism. But I'm not active. I'm inactive. If I become active, then I've had I have to let things go. I have to let other things go. Uh, but to answer your question, sure. My gosh. If you want to be a journalist, prepare to be poor. Because you're not supposed to be in business. Diba? Um, so, ito ang ginawa niya. Dito siya nagpunta. Ang dami niya nabibigyan ng empleyo. Ang dami niya nabibigyan ng kabuhayan. Marami rin siyang taong natutulungan. Iba-iba naman ang threshold ng kaligayahan natin eh. Depende, diba? May mga tao na, kahit wala naman akong pera, nakakatulong ako sa pagsusulat ko, okay na sila doon. So, to each his own, but I think she did very well, don't you think? I mean, we're all here in this building. She made the right choice. Besides, everybody can now be an anchor. Kumuha ka lang ng vlog mo, anchor ka na, dahi. Ngayon, no? Ngayon. Oo, ngayon. Pwede ka ng ganyan. You can, you can create your own persona and it could be uh, it could be uh, ano tawag nila? LGBTQIA may bago na ngayon ano tawag doon yung gender fluid oh, so ngayon pwede ka ng personality fluid you can be a negosyante and anchor at the same time Miss Corina parang enjoy ka sa yung ano, social media life mga vlogging vlogging oh, mga ano. oh, oh, oh. enjoy ka uh, enjoy ako pero aminin stressful I think all influencers will tell you that uh, you have to feed that monster. Uh, yeah, my professor calls it the economy of attention. Uh, and some of us are unwilling to try to get that attention any way that you can, right? So, ako, medyo limited ako. I know my limit. I set my parameters about my social media. Um, and even the frequency. Uh, so, yes, I enjoy it. Uh, and if there's no turning back, you have to ride on it. 
you also have the choice to get off the train. Uh, so it's a little stressful, but as long as you can do it, then do it. Sister Mar, what is the social media? I don't know. Tinitingnan kasi minsan sinisilip silip niya kung totoo yung sinasabi ko kung saan ako nagpunta. Siguro. Nagulat <laughs> <laughs> ako eh. Minsan meron siyang comment eh. Um, you really look good here. Yo. Wow. 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 Ay, nako dahil the exact opposite. Mukha akong Maria Clara ay, na principal. Ay, ay, Mukha akong principal ng eskwelahan. So sabi ko talaga, sinagot ko din siya ha. Eh kasi yan ang look na gusto ko eh. <laughs> Mukhang principal Pero ng eskwelaan. Pero yung sexy-sexy ka nga ng mga, hindi ka nang pinapasabog mo, Miss Corina. Anong comment mo doon? Sabi <laughs> <laughs> sa akin, I'm really not sure what this does for you. <laughs> sabi niya, well, sabi ko, I aim to hashtag inspire, okay? Wala na siyang masabi doon. <laughs> he knows better than to tell me what to do. <laughs> oh, nung una, medyo ano siya dyan. Medyo parang, medyo wag muna, wag muna. Bakit? Ano masama? Basta, you know, I just have to be ready that when they grow up, whatever images that I put out, they're not going to take it against me, di ba? Ano ba? Mama, bakit mo naman pinakita na wala akong salawal? <laughs> Siyempre, wala akong mga ganun. So, I'm very careful of <laughs> kung ano sasabihin nila sa akin, pagtanda nila, di ba? Hey, pili na ko sa kila. Sino ang magiging journalist? Sino ang magiging negosyante? Or politiko na rin. At politiko Ay, na rin. Ay, nako. Pumili na ba ang personality? You know, Pepe is a thinker. Pepe is a thinker. So I think he may be a technocrat. He may be a technocrat. Uh, and he's a charmer, but Pilar is a star. Pilar is a star. Pepe is the sweetheart. Pepe is the sweetheart who is the thinker. Mag-aabot namin, three years old lang. Mag-isa, nag-iisip. Ano sa ano kaya iniisip ng three-year-old na ito? Sabi ko, what are you doing here alone? Nothing. What are you thinking about? Nothing. <laughs> Pilar, performer. Oh, kasi lahat, hindi naman sa intentional, kung hindi, uh, lahat sa compound, compound living ako eh. There are like a hundred people in the compound, iba-ibang bahay, lahat ni Grense. Lahat taga Bacolod, or Iloilo, or Capiz. So ako lang dun ang kapampangan. So, uh, nung una, issue sa akin, eh kaya lang, nagtatrabaho ako, wala akong magawa. Madalas wala ako sa bahay. Pagdating ko doon, hindi ko sila maintindihan. <laughs> so, marginalize. Ma so, ako yung natututo na lang mag-ilonggo. Tinuturoan ko sila ng pranses, pero ang pranses nila ay puntong ilonggo pa rin. <laughs> yung jetem nila, jitim. Yung orboa nila, urboa. Pero Tagalog, they know how to speak. Yes. So, they know when it's mama, it's English. When it's papi, it's ilunggo. Pag dito sa mga hardinero, Tagalog. Galing. Oo, oh, galing. Aware po sila na sikat sila. Siguro, kasi kahit saan sila magpunta, hindi naman ako nilalapitan ng tao sila eh. Marunong na sila mag... Oh, uh, marunong na sila. Tsaka pag may malaking gathering sa bahay, alam ko na kung saan sila ipoposisyon sa entrance. Kami na welcoming committee. And they're very open to posing for pictures with people. So, lumalaki sila na nasasanay talaga sa tao. Sociable sila. Mas mahihain si Pepe, pero sociable. Paano kung maging artista si Pilar? Since performance siya. I think progressively thinking talagang you let your children grow the way they should, right? Kung saan sila, kung chef yan, kung chef yan, kung poet, huwag naman sana. Kung ano kabuhayan nun? Kung ano kabuhayan, artista, inginyero. Mar tends to mold them. No, you're going to be an engineer. You're going to be an engineer. I'm more like, uh, yeah, sing, sing. You want to sing, sing. Ganoon, parang ganyan. Maganda naman yung kombinasyon na kasi kasi may balance. Miss Corina, ano po nang bago sa inyong dalawa ni Sir Mark mula sa naging mamis daddy? 
Well, we don't call each other mama and then papi. Hindi kami ganun. Honey pa rin ang tawagan namin. And, uh, anong nabago? Eh di, parang ano, mas may purpose kaming mabuhay ng 120 years old. We're, we push natin yan. <laughs> push natin talaga yan. So, uh, it's something that is foremost in our minds, our health. Uh, we have to be there for them. And mas marami na kaming conversation about how to rear them. Medyo mas pagod kaming dalo. <laughs> Kasi medyo may edad na pero uh, tumatakbo, nakikisabay pa rin, di ba? So, there's more purpose, I think. Tsaka parang mas, there's more bond. Dahil family na kayo. Okay? Pag mga iba na po. Si, may plano pa po ba kung pumasok sa politika? Mar? Mar? Two oh. years time? Oh, um, it, he always says wala na. Wala na, wala. Ayoko na. Andiyan na yung mga anak. I think kung ano man ang pasukin niya, uh, whether, I don't know what, consultancy, full-time, local, national, ang sinasabi niya parate, I'm not going to take any more time away from the kids. Because he, he's lived a full political life already. From being so young, a congressman, to running for president, full spectrum na siya eh. Eh, ito ngayon yung mga bata. Eh, syempre, so sabi niya, I have 20 good years. 20 good years left. He always says that. Meaning, pwede pa siyang tumakbo. Pwede pa siyang tumakbo. Eh, how will you spend those 20 good years? Ako 40 pa, ha? Excuse me. So, <laughs> so gusto mo ba? Miss <laughs> um, Corina has to go na po. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. 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 Thank